I think people are drawn here because it is so beautiful. Even people who have lived here all their lives will stand around and look, and they say, I had no idea that this was here. You can wake up to eagles fishing in the pond right before you. See the blue heron sit and wait patiently for their morning breakfast. We laugh sometimes when people ask us, do we have internet and, or Wi-Fi? And we say, well, no, we don't, but we have birds. I do see people become more calm, walking through the trees, listening to the birds. Even breathing fresh air every day makes you calm. We have tours that go all the way up Indian Arm, and you don't see nothing but trees. And that's the purest experience you can get. When you're out there, you realize the size of our territory that our people lived on. Also, you realize how easy it was for them to get around using the waterways and the trail systems and the passes through the mountains. It's fascinating to see the actual physical geological formations that tie into our creation stories that have been passed down for, for thousands of years. I can actually walk just about anywhere and find evidence that my people have been here for as long as they claim to have been. That makes me very proud to be Tanaka. When I go fishing, I get this excitement like, oh, I'm feeding my family. And it's the resources that are there right now and we don't know if they're gonna be there in the next 20 years. This land has been caring for people for thousands and thousands of years. It makes it all that much more important that it gets protected. Step back in time and paddle like how my ancestors used to.